seven. You'd be thinking I should have gone for the blue there after that shot. What he's trying to do here is get one of the reds safe. Put him on the side cushion and not leave Chad Tramp a possible pot on, but there's an element of risk if you hit the two balls to the left of the black. Just needs to get as close as you can to the green and yellow to be very easy to hit unless you're right behind them. Touching ball on the yellow and green, it would have been a very difficult snooker to hit. As it is now, he can, I think, get through to one. And there may be an edge sticking out of the one that's directly behind the pink spot there. I was a little bit reluctant to play them thin in case you're going off. Yes, <coughs> coming to look at it from both ends now. We'll get a better look down straight down the camera lens very, very soon. And he could play cushion first anyway and take the cue ball back down the table. He caught a little thick. <coughs> and you can see what he played. He tried to stand off the cushions up behind green and yellow. <coughs> Just one snook and he did from Judd Trumpier. I think he played that, you know. He may well have played it. Because if you look at the table, if you'd have potted three reds and three blacks, if Judd hadn't gone down and got behind the yellow and green, he'd have had a perfect snooker. I think he's taking the pot on. Well, that's confident for you. He wouldn't have been quite sure if he missed that where the reds were going. One. Well, Judd Trump, looking yeah, at the scoreboard, so decides that's enough, I think. Has he made his mind up yet? Not quite. He's going to carry on. Nice spot there for the cue ball, right? <laughs> you could never have put that there if you try to get there. You're going 500 shots, you wouldn't get there. No, then is that rocked on the yellow? Is there a gap between the yellow and the green? This 
looks like the first snooker. Well, it's amazing he can swerve through the gap. Another two inches to the left, he could have done this shot. coming off the top cushion there's just about enough room to go past this red but you would expect him to hit this it's just enough room to go by it but he has hit it <laughs> now is it possible to get in behind the black I well, played him behind the pink but didn't play it well Don't really expect a match like this, uh, a frame like this, uh, with these two because they um, they both so clinical when they get in the balls. And I mean, Robson uh, turned the blue down, which I think Judd may have conceded then, and <laughs> Mr. Pink in the middle, and now he's got a, a fluke snooker. You never know. It's amazing, wasn't it? I mean, the second kiss, and it still had the side on to swing it in behind the black and. Here's one cushion escapes, another straightforward when the red's in the middle of the table, but you'd expect him to judge this one right. But he hasn't. So there's oh. one of them. Jatram four. Good attempt to get behind the black. Uh, one more pot from Lee Robertson and this frame is over. Well, it was a frame that looked over on two occasions. One. And on the third occasion, it now is. Break of 52 early on in the frame was the catalyst to take this frame and close the gap to with just two. Six. A semi-final lineup we've got. Whatever whoever wins this Five. match. We're in for two classic semi-finals, I'm sure. It's a day not to miss tomorrow. Thirteen. And tonight could be a night not to miss as well. Eighteen. He certainly looks in the mood tonight. Twenty-four. A little bit of sword fighting with the referee there. Well, breaks of fifty-two and thirty-one clearance take Neil Robertson one closer to Judd Trump, but he still trails by nine frames to seven.